Greetings, travelers, and welcome to Geronimo Draws Sketch Cards. Hope everybody's doing well. Greetings, and good to see you. Hope you're all doing fantastic and had a great Sunday so far. <laughs> wow, look at everybody in the chat. It's excited for the crab monster. <laughs> well, we needed a good rival for our, our big, big sea beast. And, you know, when... I put a beak on the monster. We were talking about how, you know, hey, wait a minute. If that thing has a beak, it needs to use it. What is it breaking into? So I was like, you know what? Right away, right there, that beak just opened up epic, epic sea battles that take place within the natural wild wildlife in the Sea of Woe. So imagine if you have this gigantic beast, then you would have a massive, massive crustacean here. And the two of them go at it. It almost like the sperm whale and the the giant squid. So I think this can be something that we could imagine, right? As the Satrians and the Iron Wolves and the Mages are are sailing across the dreaded black waters. That you have all of this activity and life going on deep within its depths. That's, that's exciting. <laughs> it's very exciting. So it, it's hard because I have to try and uh, do this without making me hungry. Uh, crab is one of my favorite foods. Favorite foods. Delicious, delicious. Crustaceans. I just love them. Love them so much. Uh, but I'm excited. They're a lot of fun to draw, crab monsters. So, well, just crabs in general. So I have a very loose sketch. I'm not going to stick to this entirely, uh, mainly because as I was sketching, new ideas came to mind. So I was like, all right, I'm going to add that later. Certain things to kind of maybe echo some old beast, just echo other weird, uh, peculiar creatures that exist in this in the lands of Mordred. You know, first, you know, you just want to you don't want to just make a gigantic crab. You know, I would be called lazy. <laughs> We don't want to do that. <laughs> also, uh, White Alakazam, thank you so much for grabbing the card, my friend. Holy mackerel. I am so excited to work on this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Tremendous. Means a lot. Unbelievable. Okay. Let's see. All right, so we got White Alakazam here. What's going on, my friend? Hail Rob. Good to see you. Uh, let's see, Paul says, nothing sells faster than a crab monster, except maybe a crab man. That's precisely right. <laughs> the crab people one, I remember that episode, White Alakazam, South Park. Tastes like crab, talk like people. Uh, let's see, hey Wayne, what's going on? Good to see you, Wayne. Thank you for joining everyone, wow. Let's see, who else we have? Seer of all that is obvious, Mr. Politeness Man says, thank you for reading this message. Well, thank you for joining. Hey, what's going on, Mark Spector Comics? Good to see you. He goes, hello, Robert, I'm here for the crab dip. Well, there's plenty to go around. <laughs> Wayne says, work, bar, food, drawstream, pretty good day, wow. Wow, I'm honored that I can make that day good. Thank you so much. That's right, you have snow crab. You're right, you have snow crab, mud crab, dung crab, and now blood crab. <laughs> blood crab. Yeah, I have to come up with a name for this creature. I haven't done it yet. We're calling the, e the eels wraith eels. I think I mentioned that last time. So, again, we're, we're slowly developing the wildlife and the bestiary of, uh, of Blood Realm. Okay, uh, I know, right? Crabs, so good. Sea insects greater, lands, uh, greater than land insects. I know. Why do they taste so good? The claw compelled me, White Alakazam says. Uh, let's see. Cash Beat, a blast, uh, Cash Beat. <laughs> blast Beat says, I thought the title said Cash Monster. I read your comment before I read your, your, uh, your avatar name. I want the Cash <laughs> Who doesn't want the cash monster, right? Oh, man. All right. Well, enough of the introductions. Let's get started, folks. Oh, man. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the reveal so far. I know some of you have seen the the reveals because uh, I, I did it a couple of times on the stream of uh, the upcoming covers for the issues. Bisque monster. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm so happy that the response is strong. So much preparation, you know, it's, uh, you know, you're sitting on this stuff for so long and you're like, oh, when can I finally show it off? When can I let everyone know about it? You know, it's, it's, it's so exciting that finally, you know, everyone can see the artwork now. And as we get closer and closer to this launch, oh my goodness, I genuinely can't wait, guys. Can't, can't wait. Soon, soon. In fact, this week, isn't that crazy? This week, this campaign's launching. The campaign is launching this week. <sighs> Time flies. Time really does fly. But I'm ready. I'm ready. Nervous, as always. You know, once you hit that, that button, that launch button, it's like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's real now. Geronimo, this is real. We're sure we want to do this, right, Geronimo? Yes, Brain. We want to do it. We've been prepping for months. We want to do this. I'm just saying, I just want to make sure. That's what Brain does. Isn't Brain delightful? Uh, brain comes up with all these different creatures, so, you know, I can't get too angry at Brain. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so, of course, we need some epic claws. Actually, on uh, Friday, I had a delicious uh, crab pasta. Mm -mm -mm. So, so good. Delicious. Okay, let's get the big claws in here. I have some wacky ideas for the claws, so let's see if we can work it all in. Also, Keir Covington has sent me, I don't know if he's watching, if you're watching, brother, holy macro, he sent me the rough, <laughs> gorgeous layouts for our big naval battle. And I was just, I was going on a walk and there were people like who were passing me by and I was just like giddy. I was like, when I, when I received it and I saw them, I literally went, yes, I <laughs> audibly just went yes <laughs> i couldn't control myself it just looks insane insane and uh he's loving it and he's so fired up i knew he would love this i was like there's if there's one guy who needs to draw that that is kier Okay, so just getting the little parts here. I'm going to check the chat. There we go. Oop. Some of that. We'll have to do a couple of coats. A couple of coats for our crab monster. Okay, let's see. He painted over the border. You bet I did. My friend and I are going on a cruise in August, and I'm pretty sure we are going to live off of seafood all eight days. They have a meal package with all-you-can-eat seafood. That's what I'm talking about. Seafood is one of my absolute favorite things. I love it. Love it. I'm curious, anyone here who just despises seafood? Just says, ooh... No, 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 no. That is not for me. I won't go near it. Curious. I've noticed that when it's not introduced to people or if a parent kind of says, oh, I don't like that. That's gross. Then the kid kind of like just mirrors that. Because at that age, you know, the, the, the brain children are sponges. So they're just mimicking, you know, at that point. So, well... Someone says it tastes terrible. It's got to taste terrible. At least that's the experience I've noticed with my own family. And I love it. Let's see. I stole my mom's love of seafood. She used to eat it all the time. But after I was born, she can't stand the smell. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Okay, so let's get some layers.
spikes in here. Let's get some other weird. I want spikes all over this guy. All over. Those aren't feeler heads. That's going to be spiked. This guy's going to have spike parts. Let's see. Originally from Baltimore, kids learned to pick crabs apart at a young age. Oh, wow. That's great. <laughs> well, I feel bad for the crab, but... Yeah, so good. Okay, so now let me get in here. I have a couple of things I need to really emphasize on this guy. Okay, I'd rather eat one of the dolphins in Gavelston Bay. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wow, Mark. Okay, he goes, uh, I'm from Rhode Island, so we do a lot of quag, quohogging or quagging here. Love seafood. Yeah, me too. Me too. I will say, um, when I went to New Hampshire for the first time in Maine, whoo -hoo, I was in heaven. Heaven. Ate so much seafood. Whew. Fried scallops at, what was it? Oh my goodness, was it Bob's? Bob's Clam Shack? I think that was the place in Maine that literally I would wait till it opened. <laughs> in fact, I even brought back I kept it in the car. It was like a five-hour drive home. But I asked him, I said, listen, how do I pack this? Because I'm bringing this stuff. <laughs> I'm taking a bunch of this home with me. <laughs> so we packed it up pretty good. And we ate it. And it, it, it survived the journey from New Hampshire to New York. It, it survived. Okay. Oh, look at that face. This is going to be good. This is going to be good. I used to go to Chinese buffets to eat all the crab legs back in Michigan. I remember I came down here on one Easter weekend, actually around where I live now, and ate myself into a food coma of crab. Crab cakes, that's a good one too. Mm. I am a sucker for crab cakes. I haven't had those in a while. Got to rectify that. Okay, I'm going to do another coat just on some of the skulls again. Now, obviously, it's hard to tell here, but this thing is huge. This is a gigantic crab. I mean, if the, if there, a vessel or a submarine, although there's no submarines, a blood run was passing by, it would be literally tiny, tiny, very small. Ooh, sear of all that is obvious. I have had 
crab stuffed uh, mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Mushroom stuffed with crab. Uh, it could feed me for about a day, if that. Wow. Yeah, that's right. Those are good. Those are good. Okay, so I am pretty comfortable with this. Actually, maybe a little more here. Let's let that dry a second and then we'll go in there again um, with our ink. Let's wet the brush. There's also some surprises coming up for this campaign. So if we hit a certain stretch goal, um, something really really cool will unlock as a perk but we have to hit a certain stretch goal because it costs a certain amount to produce <laughs> but uh, i think when you guys see it i think you guys will be really excited really excited it's going to my goal and i don't want to show it yet because obviously it's still being made uh i want this to be a premium premium product so we'll have the vinyl and if we hit a certain stretch goal still have to figure out financially what that would be um this will unlock as a perk uh, very excited very excited let's see oh well you know i'm grabbing a record plus the comics thank you so much white alakazam they're they're being made right now by the way uh I listened to the proofs. I was really, you know, going back and forth, trying to just make sure they're perfect. It's, you know, it's the first time I've ever done this before with a, with a vinyl record. But, you know, the, the guys I'm working with are very, very accommodating and very informative. So that is all officially approved. And now he said it's going to take now at this point, maybe two weeks, maybe two and a half. And that's it. I'll have those beauties. Oh, I can't wait. Okay. Okay, that's dry enough. Let's put our ink. Come on, baby. Ooh, wow, looks like we're running low on this bottle. Here we go. Okay, there we go. So now let's get started here with some of the details. I've seen like three people doing records with comics so far. Really? I think it will be really cool to pop it on and read through the series again. Yeah. I think so, you know, and then when you see... Um, certain uh, characters, you know, you'll, you might hear that theme in there. Okay, well, let's get a little bit. Okay, I have some in fine detail intended for this, so. Okay, so let's save the mouth for later, because I have plans for that. Uh, let's go, where are you? Here you are, my friend. All right, so now let's get in here. Give those claws some teeth. That's some jagged teeth. I feel like, you know, since it's deep sea, 
or underneath the depths rather it's got to be even weirder so I just thought it'd be really strange if we had some kind of kind of like tongue coming out of these claws some kind of bumps again this has to be not your ordinary crab <laughs> this is blood realm this has to be weird fit within the world of blood realm I just think that's pretty creepy, right? Having like some kind of tongue coming out of the claw itself. Let me get some of these, the joints. Some kind of like joint meat. Why do they gotta taste so good, these things, huh? Why do they have to taste so good? Gotta do very fine with the detail here. I want like this to be like some kind of claw. But all segmented here. See that. And then here. There we go. All right. Here we go so far. Hey, what's up, Rex? Give him some big meat, Rob. <laughs> He's hungry. Uh, let's see. Uh, what did I miss? I'm sorry. Hey, Felix, what's going on? Good to see you. I bet you do, Rex. <laughs> bet you do. Uh, Battlebrick Road has a gold one, and Kill Them Dead is doing one, but I got the other two ordered, just waiting on Blood Realm to launch. Oh, fantastic. So you haven't gotten them yet. I wanted to know how they, how they sound. Okay. Yeah, that's very cool. I remember I did that with Wirehead. I have a feeling, I don't know, maybe... Uh... I don't know if they got the idea from Wirehead. I did that album with Wirehead a long time ago. You never know. You never know. Okay. the shape there. Let's get another one here. Lots of meat on this boy.
let's see. He goes, I need to get a record player now, I guess. I think so, White Alakazam. <laughs> I would say so. Oh, those red eyes are creepy. A mire lurk. I, I didn't know that's what they were called. I remember those things. I remember those. Okay, so let's get the other claw here. Now I have an idea for its mouth to have like these several tongues. Almost like little grabby things that can they lift you, pick you up into its big teeth. I will have to make the teeth bigger. Amazing, right, how this creature in real life, the crabs, it's almost like there's something straight out of fantasy. Oh, I have a Audio Technica. That's the one I have, Cornello. Good to see you, by the way. Hey, Buddha Bear. Hello, hello. Wow, guys, unbelievable. Great to see you all. I'm, I'm having so much fun developing the whole monster wildlife of Blood Realm. Mm -mm. I can't wait to do more of these. Really can't. When we get to some of the land animals, even the bird animals. You know, and I'll do the ones that are at the moment, like the most important. Because I feel like it could get a bit overwhelming, but and you just kind of get it down to the most essential creatures. Okay, so let's get some of these spikes on there. And we'll put more spikes as well. You wouldn't go dare go near this thing. Vinyl becomes addictive. It does. It does. There was a couple of things I knew. I had to control myself. I was like, all right, I can really get sucked into this. So I was like, let me buy things that I know I'm going to listen to and I want to listen to. So um, what do I have on vinyl? I only have a couple. I have... I recently just ordered the, it's like a big collection of the, the Skyrim soundtrack. That was a must. Um, let's see, Demon Souls soundtrack. Star Wars, but I have the one from 1970 that was released. It's like a black um, album art. Very plain. It was from like 1970. 
something like that. Not 1970, but around, I, I forgot what it was. Was it 79 that came out? There we go. Man, he's looking fierce and creepy. And what else? Does that the only volumes? Oh, and then I have the this album of the... It's like a compilation of a, a Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. And soon the Blood Realm soundtrack, the most important one. All right. Whew. What a bunch of nerds. Porcupine crab. Yeah, well, it needs those uh, defense mechanisms, right? It needs those defense mechanisms. Uh, let's see. Okay. I think that's good enough for now. We'll go back in there because then once we start doing splatter. Yeah, I know. It could get crazy, Rex. It really can. Oh, the Killer Instinct soundtrack on vinyl. The last track is a locked groove that says Combo Breaker over and over again. <laughs> that's great. Oh, that's great. The only other vinyl... Oh, it's so ridiculous, but um, probably because it's so nostalgic for me that I'm, I'm. it's always in my cart on eBay all the time. Uh, but I'm like, ah, oh, when am I ever going to listen to it? One day, I know I'm going to end up pulling the trigger, but it's the House of the Dead 2 soundtrack. <laughs> Come on, you gotta own that on vinyl. <laughs> gotta own that on vinyl. Get it. Uh, you can beat crush me, but I'll, but I'll, but I'll eye poke you. Exactly. Exactly. That's the idea. You have, we have to think about something that is formidable you know, to this creature. It's going to need some kind of epic defense me mechanism against that massive beast. See, my roommate told me Walmart had a huge sale on records, and I was like, why would I ever need that? <laughs> I'm waiting on the Black Piper campaign that will have short stories and music made in part by backers who funded that level. Oh, cool. I like all of Tool's albums on vinyl and all of Alice in Chains. Mmm, nice. Texture on our crab here. Pour this out. So let's have the light coming from this side. So we'll get some on this part I want the belly to be a little more in shadow so let's hit that a couple of times a little closer <laughs> it's uh you know they're, they're pretty affordable you know record players it's just fun it is fun it's something about it. I don't know. It's like uh, it's like going back to Blu-ray or you know physical media in general, like the old game systems where you plug it in and it, you put the game in and it works. You put the record on and it works. No internet required. You know, it's it's fun. <laughs> Rex goes. I didn't realize you had music going on in the background. And thought I was under attack for a moment. 
The alien invasion has begun. Oh, that's funny. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I've been putting on pretty subtly. I want it real subtle. So its eyes is going to have like cat eyes. Like that. Now we start with the highlights. This is when things start to get nice and carved out. I love this part. Oh, this thing ain't, isn't fighting with me today. And those from last time. I'm just in the zone for a minute. Get these spikes here. Think about that. You wouldn't want to bite it from the back. So, like, you want to sneak up on it. It's a pretty big risk sneaking up on this thing. Is that one of them crab people? Tastes like crab, talk like people? That's so funny. We were talking about that before. Uh, let's see. Dude, I was watching gameplay of the Alien Trilogy game and hearing the PS1 intro sound got me hard with nostalgia. I know. I know. The good old days, right? Oh, that's what we did. We did the Raziel. I forgot. Yeah, that was the commission I had to do. Yes, yes. was a good era. I feel the same way whenever I hear that stuff. Oh man. Bite it from the back. Uh, let's see. Uh, I do have PS1 in the trunk of my car. I don't know why it's still there, but it is. I need to check out Check how much an Alien Trilogy is, but I, would, I wouldn't think that that one's too expensive. Like I said, I don't think it was very popular. I personally couldn't get past the first level. I actually tried it the other night after we, we streamed. I was like, oh, let me see, because I had a, I have an emulator. Oh my goodness, it was so hard. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I tried. I was like, no, I, I'm not going to use cheats. Let me just actually try this out. I was like, I can't. This is driving me crazy. This is really hard. shape there. Okay, there we go. Some highlight here. Just trying to find some some of that texture just to punch up certain things.
It's looking ferocious, huh? Uh, let's see. Uh, it would be cool if they had some kind of laser technology that can read it so you could. I don't know. Compact the disc. Huh. That's funny. Rob's new favorite food is KFC cheese. Oh, goodness, no. Could not believe that was real. I was like, ugh. Oh, chicken does not belong on pizza. No. Sorry. Chicken and pizza. That is a no-no. All right. So many gross-looking discs so far. <laughs> Yeah, it's starting to really come to life now, right? I can never dream eating that. I saw that, the commercial for it. I was like, oh. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, that's what I want. I want just like this weird, I don't know, not tongues, but just like these little feeler pulley things that would just grab you and pull you in. Okay, now that we have that, we can start going back in with the black. BBQ chicken pizza is great. Hmm. All right, I'll trust you, Rex. I trust you. I trust you. I probably won't ever eat it, but I trust you. Is the fangs now let's punch some of this up huh let's get in there oh man I love this guy <laughs> Rob is a pizza elitist hello there Metatron's cube he was waiting for the right moment to comment. He was like, this is my moment. <laughs> Rob is a pizza elitist. Mic drop. <laughs> uh, I mean... Uh... You know... Some things are just not for me. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, PS2 wrestling games. What was the one I had? Smackdown? I think there was a Smackdown. I remember there was a PS1 one, but I think they did do one on PS2. I always loved the creator character stuff. I had made a character, every game I would make a character named Biohazard. So much fun. Okay. <laughs> it's like saying you can't have chicken tacos. Must all be steak. I just, I can't see how pizza could go on there. But hey, you're, you're right. Look, look. All right, well, here's another thing. Um, hmm. Do you put cheese on fish? 
Let that dwell in your minds for a minute. Do you put cheese on fish? If so, what is the grounds for putting cheese on fish? Hmm. I guess now if I had to pick something, although I haven't had it in a very long time, I guess shrimp parmesan. But some people are like, you never put cheese on fish. Yeah, see Rex? Mm, do you put cheese on fish? Filet of fish? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. When I put fish on pizza, <laughs> I win. Metatron says I wouldn't, but I see nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Touche, touche. Uh, let's see, Buddha Bear says, I would make this beast of a chicken kebab pizza at Domino's pan pizza with a garlic parm sauce and barbecue. And barbecue? What? Garlic parm sauce and barbecue, then chicken, onions, bell peppers, jalapenos, pineapples, bake it the top with mango. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. That is interesting. And, and you know what's interesting? Buddha Bear has survived the tell. He has survived to tell the tale of the food that he is. That's that's even more commendable. <laughs> Put some hair on them. There's some hairy fish out there. Oh boy, wow. Hope you guys dig him so far. He's like, kind of nasty, right? Let's see. So good. He says it's like, what's that? The deep sea double from Checkers? I'm not even, I don't even know, I don't never eat at these places. American cheese on fish sticks or McDonald's quality. Blah. Oh, wow. Actually just made me, uh... <laughs> oh, hey, listen. <laughs> Guys, do your thing, you know. <laughs> you know, I cannot control my bodily reactions when I hear these things, but it's okay. It's okay. Okay, there we go. Killing Zone? What game is that? Never heard of that. See, my grandpa says he loves shrimp pizza in Wisconsin. Shrimp pizza. Shrimp pizza. Wow. I mean, look, to, to be fair, I never said you couldn't. I was just curious because that's some... Some people are very, very strict about that. Just as much as the pineapple on pizza thing is... Do you put cheese on fish? Like when I have a fish dish, like a pasta dish, I wouldn't put, I wouldn't put cheese. I wouldn't do it. But I have had fish lasagna in Venice, which is like one of their things. Not my favorite, but I wanted to try it since it is one of their signature things over there. 
I always like to just be a little adventurous and just try things I wouldn't normally eat sometimes. Especially when I'm in a, a, a specific region that is known for a certain dish. But again, not something I would get again, but I tried it. You said hairy fish, and I immediately thought of the prompt comb over catfish. Oh, comb over? Comb over? Oh, comb over. I was right. Comb over catfish. That's funny. That should happen. <laughs> comb over. I have to make my students do that. All right, everyone. We have a uh, special prompt today. It's comb over catfish. Shrimp and pepperoni pizza. Wow, everybody's coming at me with... Not not coming at me, but I'm like, wow, you guys are... You've had it. It's not my fault you Italians only like what you stole from Greece or China plus tomato. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> well, you enjoy your roads, Buddha Bear. <laughs> Uh, the Domino's pan pizza with extra garlic pie. I can't even believe this. Uh, food just comes up all the time, right? I mean, this is expected. I mean, crab. Wow, where? I can't even believe some of this stuff. All right, I got to hold on. The Domino's pan pizza with extra garlic palm sauce, sausage, pepperoni, extra cheese, well done bake. And Wayne says shrimp and pepperon pepperoncini pizza. Oh, okay. Wow, where do you get that? I'm getting a pan to make a Detroit-style pizza. I'm going to put all the shrimp on that. <laughs> I've had shrimp pastas with cheese sauce. Cheese sauce. Interesting. Hmm. Breakfast pizza is goaded. I've never had breakfast pizza. Rex, oh no. I guess Rex doesn't like the music. Helps me get in the mood. Just getting this claw right now. I'm just trying to get little spikes that are on it. I want to start to really put some detail. I want like tongues coming out of. And if they're not quite tongues, it's like some kind of maybe sticky thing that comes out. Kind of latches onto prey. make it a little tongue like so I had to be a little thicker that's pretty gross huh it's got to be weird enough to exist in this universe look at that whoa Blake Powell holy smokes I haven't seen you in a while my friend thank you for joining hope you're doing well good to see you okay QT's breakfast pizza slaps. Haven't found any others like it. <laughs> Rex. A feeler hair grabber. Oh, that's a new one. Feeler hair grabber. See? Perfect. Thin crust. <laughs> a thin crust pineapple and pepperoni is good. No oregano. Wow. Buddha Bear is a Domino's pro. I had. Have I ever had it? I think I had to have it 
once because it was the only thing um, I think that was the only thing available but otherwise what was it? Ah, oh, it was a friend's uh, this was years ago I remember the last time I had Domino's because it was the only time I ever had Domino's uh, what, what's the name? A quinceanera, right? Um, when they, uh, when a girl turns 15, right, in Spanish culture, it's like their sweet 16. I remember that, uh, her parents, uh, ordered dominoes for us. It was the first and the last time I ever had it. Not knocking at Metatron, just saying it was the first and only time. <laughs> Don't know how passionate you guys are of, uh, of Domino's. Looks great there, Rob. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Having a lot of fun with this one. Absolute blast drawing this guy, developing all of the wildlife and creatures that exist in the lands of Mordron. I'm excited to keep this series going. Yeah. All right, time for some white splatter. <laughs> I'm surprised they have dominoes in New York. Yeah, they have it. They have it. They certainly do. Okay. Now it is time. Ooh, that, that does a oh, dill. Interesting. Buddha Bear says, A good one I made in homage to Queen Margareta. Cremini mushrooms, goat cheese, and dill. Good stuff. Wow. Gotta say, an absolute pro. The non-chain places here are full of hipsters and ridiculous prices. $30 for a medium one topping. Uh, thirty dollars for a medium one topping. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, what's going on here too? All right, so our lights here. I would like to get a little bit more splatter, though. I still got to learn a little bit the bristles on this guy. I really like him. This is such a cool looking creature. I want to see that battle. Do you imagine this thing just going? It's like... The crab just going and all of a sudden... A looming shadow, right? Of the big sea creature. And that thing looks up. Kind of hunkers down a little bit. Gets its back up a little, right? And it digs itself deep into the soil, or the, the, I guess, what would you call it, soil? No. The seabed, and that thing comes down, and that creature is waiting as the crab's sitting there, as the thing comes toward, almost like a, like a dive, almost like a kamikaze coming right down in. And then, pfft, that crab latches on, right, as the beak chomps, and the crab is, pfft, Boom. That would be wild. <laughs> it's so wild to see. I think that would be so cool. That would be really cool. I guess we should get some bubbles in there. I just realized that. Let's get a touch of bubbles. 
touch of the bubbles. In the Sunday sauce today, we had uh, pork sausage with pignoli nuts and raisins. They're stuffed. It's delicious. What a taste. Nice, sweet sauce. So good. That's right, raisins. I don't want to hear it. Don't want to hear it. Don't knock it till you tried it. I like him a lot. This is so cool. <laughs> I can't wait to scan all these in. All right, we're almost done. And thank you again to White Alakazam for grabbing this card means the world to me really guys it's it's a it's a surreal thing it's a surreal thing and I, I never take it for granted seriously one thing my old, my father would always say was like never forget where you came from Never forget. He never forgot. You know, he came from the projects in Brooklyn. He said, never forget where you come from. So you stay humble. So I'll never forget. I always appreciate the support. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the hipster place is out of control. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Wow. I, I love this. <laughs> Absolutely love this thing. I'm more of a master of Plucker's Wing Bar menu if anyone ever wants something new and are in Texas. Wow. Interest, interesting. <laughs> I'd eat it, White Alakazam says. Right? Nice seafood dinner right here. Again, um, just imagine them in the seabed. These titans battling out. Just. I think it's a nice pairing. Pete posted a new customer coupon for Etsy the other day. Might be time to get some felt. Oh, Blood Realm figures. Oh, get out of here. Oh, nice. Oh, that's great. Oh, is it, is it, um... Erin, is she making those? Because she's great. <laughs> Rex says he's actually going to eat the card. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, guys, thank you again so much for watching. Um, the campaign is launching soon. So this is the time to sign up. I'll show it. Let's see. Let me just get this up and then we'll wrap up. I'm sure most of you have already signed up for the pre-launch. Um, but this is the last couple of days to do it. So when you sign up and you back the campaign, you get the first official Blood Rum trading card. Oh man, guys. I can't wait to get deeper into this story and show you what's in store for all of you. I mean, this is... Um, this just might be the magnum opus. I feel like everything's been leading to this. Although there is a whole ending to Blood Realm. I don't know. This one is a... Uh, this is a, a defining moment for me, I have to say. I've learned a lot about myself as a creator. And I feel that this is the story I need to be telling right now. I just can't wait. You guys heard it there. You've heard me say it over and over again. I just, I don't even know what else to say. <laughs> I just can't wait. So make sure you're signed up for the campaign. Three tremendous artists are joining me. 
Uh, we have Juan Sanabria. We have Keir Covington. We have Christian Rossi. And of course, myself, I'll be drawing as well and writing. So link is in the description. All right, folks. Well, thank you so much again. I still I haven't signed up. Oh, my goodness, Rex. You see, this is why I have to bring it up every time. <laughs> White Alakazam, thank you again so much for grabbing the card. Everyone have a fantastic, fantastic uh, rest of your night. I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow for another card. Who knows? Maybe we'll move to land or maybe we'll go to the sea again. See what else could be lurking within the depths of the sea of woe. We'll, f we'll find out together. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a great night. Take care. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.